Well, hello, my beautiful Geminis. How are all the Geminis doing out there? I hope you are doing fantabulous. Okay, Gemini, this is going to be, uh, this is your reading or your love reading for the time period of October 1st through the 7th of 2020. I'm going to try to do these weekly. This is my Tarot and 5 series, and because I'm limited on my phone, although I am in the in the process of getting a laptop, so that will change. But for now, because it's Tarot and 5 and I'm limited on my phone, space-wise, um, I just have to do these weekly. And I may continue to do these weekly even when I get the laptop, but... Um, so you can get more information, okay? This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is a general read, so it may not resonate for all of you, so just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it does not resonate, um, you can check the other placements in your chart, particularly Venus, because sometimes those resonate more, and even if it does resonate, um, sometimes you can get more information from the other placements in your chart, okay? In your chat. In your chat. Let's see what we have here, all right? What's going on for a lot of you Geminis out there? All right, bottom of the deck, general energy. Ooh, you know what? Two cards wanted to come. So I'm going to take that because they both wanted to come. We'll do this one first. The Ace of Cups. Um, well, actually, I do read the bottom of the deck, so um, this will be the bottom that came out. Ace of Cups, I'll get to that in a minute. Ace of Cups. Okay, so beautiful, brand new love here. Brand new love. Uh, past energy is temperance. Five of Swords presently, mm -hmm. and Judgment Cad, and this would be the bottom of the deck that was underneath it. Ooh, Seven of Swords. Okay, <clears throat> Seven of Swords can be about deceit. However, that could also mean you're deceiving yourself. And by that I mean that you may really care for this person or really want love. But you're kind of telling yourself, nah, I don't want that, I don't want that. Now, in the past energy is temperance, could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but you don't have to be. Um... Something in your life was out of balance, and um, it's taken a lot of patience for you to try to figure out which direction you want to go in your life right now, whether it has to do with love or not, but it could be a love situation. Maybe it is with this person, this particular person. The Five of Swords, right now you are just up in your head, overthinking, overthinking, overthinking. So, you know, you may need to fill your own cup. You may need to do a little self-love work here. Pardon me, I have an itchy arm. You can see my shadow. Hi! <laughs> um, the judgment cat here means that this is a day of reckoning. There's going to be some sort of aha moment that is going to give you the answer that you are looking for, okay? It's kind of a being reborn. There's something that's going to happen that is going to strike you in a way that you're like, now I know exactly what I need to do. So, whatever that may be, we'll see. So let's get a, a little uh, clarification, if we will, for the temperance cad. Please, a spirits. Seven of Wands, feeling a little bit defensive, feeling um, a little bit maybe trapped or against the wall. Maybe people are coming at you or life is coming at you. However, you are in a good position. You do have two sevens here. Um, the sevens are about, um, well, <sighs> usually potential and ambition, but... Um, with these two together, I'm feeling that, um, you're, yeah, you're trying to choose which path to go on. If we get cut off, I apologize because of the space on my phone. Uh, I got cut off in a couple of videos ago. I got cut off. Luckily, it was the very, very end, but, I mean, I was done with the video, but. Um, well, let's see what you have presently going on here with the Five of Swords. Tower. Something's going on. Something's rocking your world right now. Something's not quite right in your world right now. Um, yeah, this is... I'm feeling a little bit of, um, trust your intuition here. Your answer is within you, Gemini. The answer is within you. Do not look externally. Maybe you're lying to yourself about this particular person. The Three of Pentacles. Mastering yourself in the situation, moving forward. So, what I am hearing right now, and I'm getting close to the end here. What do we have on the bottom of the deck? There's the Two of Wands. Again, trying to make a decision which path you want to go. And you may be deceiving yourself here. There's something going on within you, Gemini, that is not quite right. You're out of balance somehow. You're caught in your thoughts, and your life feels like it's falling apart right now. However, keep in mind that moving forward, and if this is a love situation, things may work out better than you thought, and you're going to work as a team, okay? So if you're worried about someone in particular, um, it may all work out. You just have to figure out which way you want to go with this person. All right, Gemini? I had us a little bit all over the place. If this did resonate, I hope it helped you in some way. Um, if you haven't, uh, give me a thumbs up if you, this resonated and you liked it. Um, and do comment. I would love to hear from you. If you haven't joined the uh, tribe, subscribe and join the tribe and hit the bell icon button because I will be doing these weekly. So we'll find out within a week what may be going on here. A uh, little extended version. Okay? Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you.
ピース